place this thing. Welcome back to the channel guys and to another video in the series where I'm modifying, well not modifying but altering the Isuzu depressions and bushing uh, repairs. Hope you actually enjoyed the series thus far and hope it's somewhat educational or interesting at least. Thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to this channel, I really appreciate all the subscriptions. Um, uh, I'd like a bit more comments though but yeah, is what it is. So, we are carrying on with the assembly of the, the, the uh, crown wheel carrier. Enjoy. Alright, so that's all talked up, guys. Um, I thought I was recording this talking process here. But I unfortunately did not press the record record button, so that I didn't capture that. But anyway, they will talk now. So now I'm going to start putting these bearings on. All right, so bearing time. Let's put this bearing on. So I um, I use the torch guys, and then I heat up the old outer race there, and I put it on the new one, and. Then the heat transfer heats up the new one, and that's how I put the bearing on. It's on. I'm going to do now turn it around and do that side. Okay, guys, so here's the bearings all on. Here's the, the lock diff unit. It's all on here, torqued. Both sides on. Basically, ready for installation. I'm just going to check out the gasket. Okay, I'll be needing to make a, a new gasket here. This gasket was all hard and brittle at the end of the day. I always knew I was going to have to make a new one. I'll just scrape all this off here. Scrape all that off and then I'll make up a new one.
Okay, so that's nice and clean now. I had to I had to use that the wire cup, the wire brush because this gasket was way too hard to use a scraper. So anyway, let me make a gasket. Here's a bit of a burr here, and I'll grind all that off here. But let me just make this this gasket up. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out now with the scissors and then the outside one is where I'm going to trace on the actual cover. Okay, so I installed this carrier in the casing as a trial fit. I didn't still record that because I mean I don't do let you see our trial fit and all this stuff and I unfortunately they don't have any engineering blue you know the marking blue so I use chalk but the chalk, chalk seems to work and if you look if you look like here I don't know if you can see it this I don't think you can this area here is where the Yeah, so if you see here, yeah, you can see this area is, is, is cleaned out, the tooth contact over here. I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if, if, if it's showing anything, but that's the tooth contact there. On this one, you can see it's here as well. So it's quite, it's quite, um, it's quite shallow. This one is here as well. It's quite shallow, but this one you see it the best, this one here. So if it's shallow like that, that means that the pinion must come towards towards the, the crown wheel. Okay, so like I said, with it being quite shallow, it means that this contact area here is not deep enough in the in the crown wheel so this pinion must come towards me now towards the camera and then the only way to do that is to take out that outer race there and put a shim behind it and that will lift it this up. I'm going to put in like a half a mole shim I'm going to put in there so yeah let's crack on okay so this is the shim that I made to go behind the the outer race of the pinion bearing it's half a mole thick so that should push it significantly closer and also um if you notice i i just grinding marks here and grinding marks here when i purchased when i purchased the um the new um crown wheel and pinion the supplier the agent of of this manufacturer this the agent of this um, diff he told me that I'll probably have to grind inside here because that crown wheel 
is bigger than the standard one and that's normal procedure when they do this type of modification so yeah so in case you were wondering that's the clearance i had to grind okay so i'm going to do all of that off camera i'm not still going to like film me taking out the pinion and um, putting the shim behind and all that kinds of stuff because you saw that when i dismantled the the diff in the previous videos i'll just show you when it's back and all right enjoy for the guys yeah i made it a half millimeter because as you can see that is the deepest that it that is making contact so half a millimeter will push it you know nicely towards the center of the towards the center of the, the tooth and that's the ideal place for contact i will show you on the whiteboard later um how this contact things work okay guys so obviously i never recorded all the trial and error fitment of the carrier into the casing obviously i as i showed i put a, a 0 0.5 half mil shim underneath the pinion bearing and the original carrier shims on the side was seven millimeter and after all the trial and error i it was determined that the 0 0.5 was actually the right size and the one shim had to be 6.8 where the original one was seven and the other one had to be 7.2 whereas the original one was seven and <clears throat> i had to machine a new 7.2 millimeter shim but that i'll show you in the next video and um, yes but like i also said don't don't forget that um, the trial and error fitment can be very tedious it can take a quite a while and i'm sorry that i never recorded it but i couldn't concentrate on the on the filming and the the um you know the clearance fitting in and out of the of the carrier because it had to come out a few times and the tooth contact will determine the size of the shims so either the 0 0.5 millimeter will have to increase or it will have to or you'll have to take it out and the sides will have to decrease or increase but like i said um my on my instance um the sizes was 0 0.5 6.8 and 7.2 but that will change depending on the tooth contact in the next video i'll show you on the whiteboard what the tooth contact pattern must be and how the gears must move in whatever direction to get the correct clearances backlash Okay, thanks for watching the video guys. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.